Audubon International has been working with superintendents to facilitate the sustainable management of the environment. Ron Dodson is retiring from Audubon International after serving as the organization's founder and president of the board for more than 25 years. After an extensive search, Ryan Aylesworth, formerly of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, was selected as the new executive director. GCSAA-TV caught up with Aylesworth at the Golf Industry Show between sessions for an impromptu interview about his new position and the future of Audubon International. Yeah, this organization was founded over 25 years ago and, and Ron Dodson, uh, you know, you really can't say en enough about what he meant taking this organization started because if it hadn't been for, for him and his own personal efforts in doing so, the organization wouldn't exist. And, um, you know, Ron over the years has become you know, quite a respected figure in the, in the sort of sustainability and sustainable natural resource management arenas and, and certainly with respect to golf and, and sustainable natural resource management in golf. And um, so I, I feel very fortunate that after you know, so many years of him um, kind of being at the helm of the organization, obviously first as, as founder and throughout most of that time as the president of the board, to um, you know, now that Ron is officially re retired and, and will be um, moving on to, to new endeavors as he enjoys his retirement, um, take an opportunity to make sure that the next chapter of the organization's history is everybody's successful and, and hopefully you know, build on past success and really take it to the, to the next strata of, of what it can be for its members and ultimately what it can do for sustainable natural resource management and envir environmental education efforts and help um, just keep our dedicated crew of, of, of staff who are very mission-driven people, keep them all pulling in the same direction and, and work very closely with our membership in making sure that our programs meet, meet their needs as well as the environmental uh, issues and challenges that we try to face. Aylesworth has big plans for Audubon International in the upcoming year. Audubon International also benefits from the leadership and talents of GCSAA members who are the natural choice to lead stewardship efforts at golf facilities. We are very proud of uh, the Audubon Cooperative Sanctuary Program as well as our signature program for, for new, new golf course development. Um, we are uh, taking the time right now to do a very extensive internal re-examination of our programmatic components, the criteria and standards that, that guide the work that we do. And uh, we owe that not only to conservation, which is ultimately our, our primary goal, but really to our membership. By the summer, we hope to totally overhaul the uh, certification and recertification handbook and the documentation that goes along with that and migrate it from basically a hard copy binder, which, which is more of a, tra a traditional um, way of doing things, and migrate that into an online, what I'm calling a TurboTax style approach, so that it's more uh, friendly to the end user. So we have over 3,000 members internationally and over 2,000 of those members are, are golf courses um, in, in the continental U.S. Our goal is to uh, enhance the, the technical rigor of what we're doing while at the same time um, making sure that we can simultaneously increase the, the efficiency. It's really energizing for me to have an opportunity to work with an organization like Audubon International because there is that opportunity to, um, it's a bit of an overused buzzword, but win-win situations where you can achieve environmental goals while at the same time uh, pursuing socioeconomic and, and, and cultural goals sometimes as well. Aylesworth stressed that even in these tough economic times, that conservation can still be in a facility's best interest. Um, when you take a program like the Audubon Cooperative Sac Sanctuary Program, a $200 program in many cases can help save a golf course thousands of dollars in operating costs. Um, you know, we have a golf course uh, near where our headquarters is in the Albany area, Colonial Acres. The superintendent there, Pat Blum, it's, it's, it's a small nine-hole uh, currently publicly funded golf course, was previously uh, owned by a, um, by, by a private group. But that course operates on something like a twenty or $25,000 operating budget. And for $200 a year and, and some of the consultation that he gets from um, our uh, ACSP program manager, he's able to save, in his own estimates, uh, over $4,000 in operating costs. And I think most people would agree, you know, if you can spend $200 to save yourself $4,000 in the same fiscal year, that's a pretty good investment. It's a very exciting time for us. There's, um, I wouldn't call it an em empty canvas because we are trying to stay true to our core mission. And, uh, you know, I believe in the analogy, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But I also believe that, you know, we can definitely improve on our programs and, and that those benefits, uh, that, that the benefit of those improvements will definitely uh, be passed on to our members.